Hey everyone, I'm here today to do a quick review of Jamila Plus from Ellen Villa in the color Bernstein Rooted. This is a curly girl's dream. <laughs> like a super curly girl's dream. Uh, I have a fan blowing on me so the hair is moving a little bit. We're getting into the summertime when my bathroom gets super hot and so to avoid melting I'm just gonna have a fan on me. Hope you don't mind. Um, okay so Jamila Plus. I've been so curious about Jamila Plus forever. Oh my gosh, forever. And I was so afraid to buy her because of all of this all of these curls and so I was able to find a screaming deal on eBay uh, and was able to snatch this one up so I have someone I purchased from on eBay um, I purchased from her quite a few times actually and so uh, I'll link her uh, uh, eBay store in the description because it's a chance to get some good deals and so far I've never been um, disappointed by a wig that she has sent me so uh, there can be really great opportunities to get good deals on eBay if you're careful. So that said, check out the description for the link to the store that I've been purchasing at. All right, so do you like curls? Oh my gosh, then you're gonna love Jamila. Let me show you Jamila from all sides. It's amazing. Honestly, I can't get over it. So Jamila has a lace front and no other mono features. And for the amount of curl that she has, I think it would be wasted expense for her to have a lace, or I'm sorry, a, like a mono part or something because you just would never see it with this much curl. So here's the lace front. It's actually pr really good. Because Jamila is rooted, and so there's some dark knotting there, but not many. And the lace goes back a little ways, so then you it makes it almost look like a part right there. So it's a really good lace front. It's going to give you some styling options, which is great. So um, what did I do with Jamila? Jamila, um, this the person I purchased this from does reviews as well and so um, probably was worn for a review I can't remember if she said she was gently worn or not I think she may have been um, but what I did was I soaked her in Belle Madame balsam that is my absolute all-time favorite favorite product for wigs my favorite conditioner as a matter of fact I'll show it to you I did a giveaway of the Belle Madame balsam uh, a little while back where I gave away little sample sizes, I had taken a bottle and I poured it in a bunch of little sample size containers for like three or four uses so people could try the shampoo and conditioner. I love this stuff. Um, absolutely my favorite thing ever and I, I recommend it over all other products for wigs because it just makes them feel so good um, and smell so fresh. I just love it. I mean there are other great products out there. This just happens to be my favorite. And so I soaked her in some balsam because with curls like this, you run the risk of them starting to look a little frizzy. And some of them did look a little frizzy when I got it out of the box which is to be expected. I mean, it, this is just so curly. It really, really revived the curls and, and brought some softness back. So Jamila is just like truly um, unbelievably curly and with lots and lots of layers. So many layers. And this actually reminds me of, I know some people who have super, super curly hair and they tend to get them lay, cut into layers. Otherwise they get too <laughs> round and poofy. And so I do think this is a realistic, for someone who has a ton of curl, and I know there are some of you out there who your bio hair used to look like this. Um, I would just say this is not for the faint of heart. If you have never really had curly hair, uh, this is not something to dive into in the beginning. Um, something I will tell you is she has a ton of permatease up here. Big, big, poofy pillow of permatease right on the top. And kind of needs it because with this amount of curl, you need something to give this lift and also to lift all of the curls up off the cap. Let me show you this cap. Uh, 
So you've got your lace front, your velvet ear tabs, extended nape, velcro adjusters, a real standard Ellen Villa cap. So let's take a look at this off of me. It's just, I mean, I, I can't get over how stunning these curls are. This color, Bernstein Rooted, is uh, sort of a mix of a, a medium, kind of a, a medium light brown and blonde. And so it's just a really kind of dark, dark blonde or light brown color with a rooting which is really good. It's a shadow, kind of a shadowy root. It's a little bit of a darker root, but it doesn't stand out and like it's too unrealistic. I just think that if you're, if you can do light browns or dark blondes, you can do this color. It's really, really a pretty color for summer. I have Girl Mono in Light Bernstein Rooted and they're very similar. Actually, She's over here. Let me grab her for you. Um, this one seems to have more blonde. Just some more blonde. But I love this color. I used to think that it would be too, um, too light for me. And I've really grown over, over the cup, you know, year and a half, a little more than a year and a half I've been wearing wigs. But if you're a brunette, this one definitely has light blonde in it. So keep that in mind. I'll get outside for you guys. So I mean that's really it. I think I haven't really had much of a chance to play with her. I don't know that I can wear this style like this out of the box. What I think I can do is wear it with headbands. And so I may, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this for a second and I'm going to just try to play with her a little bit and put a headband in. I'm going to do it off camera because with all these curls, it is going to take me a second to get them rearranged. But I, I want to show you that there's some possibilities. So hang on. Let's see what I can do. Okay, I'm back. Style number one. This took me about three minutes. I took a claw clip and I just clipped up the curls in the back. And then I took a l another little claw clip and took up some of the bangs because otherwise it was a lot of hair in the front and you couldn't really see the back. What do you guys think of this style? This is actually a way that I would wear this one without question, 100%. Something I want to talk quickly about is I want to point out the fact that the fact that this is rooted is hugely helpful if you are a natural brunette and you have darker bio hair because the rooting blends with my bio hair in the back because I have a lower hairline and it's blending with that so I don't feel like it's going to show or that it's conspicuous. I don't know if you can see that. Let me grab my mirror. I have, just have a lower hairline back here but that's the dark rooting that you see and so I feel like that's, that helps a lot. All right, guys, this was style number one. I'm going to see if I can put a headband in. I kind of don't want to mess this up now because I actually want to just keep this on now for the rest of the day. I love it this way, but hang on. Okay, style number two, a bandana. So I just took a bandana, just your standard bandana, and I just folded it in a triangle, and then I did... Other, I kind of folded it in half and then folded it in half again until I got it into this. And then I just took it from the back and I tied it up here. Now, something that I would do with this, if I decide to keep, I, well, I'm keeping this one. I'm, there's no doubt. I can totally do updos with this one, is I would trim just at the nape. I would trim a little bit of the hair so I could have some tendrils hanging down and they wouldn't be as long. If you do it just at the very underside of the wig, then if you do decide to wear the wig down, that won't show. It will not be an issue. I did pull a little bit out just to give it a more realistic look. So I just feel like those pieces maybe need to be a little bit shorter. But I just kind of tucked the sides in and left out the front this time and put the bandana on. 
I left the clip in, so this is the same clip I had in when I had it the other way. What do you guys think? Isn't it so cute? I don't know guys. Once again, my plug for this is going to be, if you want to experiment and if you're curious, don't give up when you get a wig and it's not exactly like you wanted it to be. This, I, I can 100% guarantee, well, I guess I can't because I've evolved in my wig journey. As of today, my belief is I will never wear this wig down all by itself. I just don't think I could pull off the wildness of it. It's just not my style. But the first look I did and this look, 100% my style. And this is how I would wear it. And there are days I just want a messy, curly updo. And so to me, it's totally worth it. I, you know, I don't remember what I paid for it, less than $100. And so again, keep your eye out for deals and know that you can work with them and you can mess with them and you can make them your own. And that doesn't mean having to take steam or scissors to it, just accessories. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope for those of you who really wanted to look at this super curly Jamila Plus, you had a chance to see what you were looking for. And stick around, I'll show you the color outside. Thanks for watching, you guys. This one was really fun to do. Take care. Hey guys, I'm back really quickly. I want to show you quickly what I'm going to do with this one because I just thought of it. So I have one of these combs that I got on Amazon. I will link it. Um, I think they come in multi-packs. And so what I'm doing is these tendrils that are so long that I want to trim, I'm just taking, it's like a little razor comb. And I am just kind of on the very end, I'm just kind of doing this. And I just keep doing it until I cut through. I just did it on one. This one might be getting a little dull. See, you just kind of comb through and what it does is it doesn't give it a blunt cut. I don't know if you're able to see that. It doesn't give it a blunt cut. It just gives it a little wispy cut. And so if you're looking to just trim a little bit of wispy, you can use one of these and you don't have to use a thinning shears and you don't have to use a regular scissors. All right, that's all I wanted to show you guys. All right, everyone, here is Jamila Plus outside. So this is the Bernstein rooted color, very different than my light Bernstein rooted much lighter. It's interesting, the light Bernstein rooted, they say it's, well, the name's light Bernstein. This is just Bernstein. It's way lighter. We walk around over here, watching for landmines, because, you know, we've got dogs. These curls are something else, aren't they? Such a pretty color. And so, yes, it is a rooted color. So take a look at that rooting. I think the rooting looks a little darker in my Girl Mono, which is in the light Bernstein rooted. So very pretty though, very pretty blonde. All right, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.